चूज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन द मोस्ट पॉपुलेटेड कॉन्टिनेंट इज एशिया चाइना एंड इंडिया आर इन एशिया द लेस्ट नंबर ऑफ पीपल लिव इन दिस कॉन्टिनेंट डी एंटार्टिका अकॉर्डिंग टू पॉपुलेशन वॉट इज इंडिया रैंक इन दर्ल्ड वट इज द रैंक इंडियन इंडियंस हैव वी आर सेकेंड द फर्स्ट वन इज चाइना विच ऑफ दीज कंट्रीज हैव पॉपुलेशन बिलो हंड्रेड मिलियन द आंसर इज पेरू वॉट इज द एवरेज पॉपुलेशन डेंसिटी ऑफ द वर्ल्ड द आंसर इज फोर्टी फाइव That is forty-five persons per square kilometer. In which country is the city of Osaka lo located? It's in Japan. Manchester of Japan is Osaka. Which of these countries is notable for the number of people who migrate, immigrate, not migrate, immigrate outside from there? The answer is Sudan. Which of these characteristics of population pyramid indicates the lowest level of literacy and development? It is broad base, narrow top. Fill in the blanks. Dash is considered to be the ultimate resource. Human, human is considered to be the ultimate resource. Human resource. More than ninety percent of the world's population reside in just ten percent of the total land surface. The top ten countries in population cover about sixty percent of the total world population. Dash is the most populated country in North America. It's USA, United States of America. The world's population reached a billion in the year eighteen twenty. Birth rate and death rate are usually expressed in the terms of per this thousand people means per thousand. So this is. Birth per thousand and deaths per thousand. The difference between the birth rate and the death rate is called the natural growth rate of population. The age group zero to fifteen comes under the economically dependent group. Economically dependent group because these are just kids. and they need money from or any resources from their parents in order to survive true and false many more people live to the south of the equator than the north no many more lives north rather than south so this is false then each of the top 10 populated countries have population over 100 100 million this is true South Central Asia has the highest density of population this is true the population of the world doubled between 1820 to 1999 no in the united kingdom uk the birth rate as well as the death rate is low true japan and bangladesh are very densely populated we can conclude that both are economically underdeveloped uh, underdeveloped sorry underdeveloped no it is not the case japan is developed country bangladesh is underdeveloped or you can say still developing now matching fertile plains will match it with huang ho in china f i'm matching it with f then very hot climate with the sahara desert extremely cold Uh, the extremely cold climate extreme winter you can say the answer is antarctica and the upper part of uh, of course uh, canada then cultural significance it's jerusalem jerusalem then uh, diamond mines south africa oil oil it's the middle east Qatar, Saudi Arabia, Bahrain, Iran, Iraq. In what respect do different human beings differ? Human being differs in terms of age, sex, education, ethnicity, culture, physical and mental strength. With the help of figures, describe how population varies across continents. 
now uh, figures means numbers you have to see so around 60 percent or 61 percent of the world population lives in asia 12 percent in europe so let me write it like this 61 percent in asia 12 percent in europe 13 percent in africa then 8 percent in central and south america 5 percent in north america and 1 percent only in oceania if uh, 600 people live in your colony and the number of uh, your colony is 2 or this is the area sorry area of colony is 2 square kilometer what is the population density so this is number of people per unit per unit area that is per this is 2 so you can say 600 by 2 is 300 people 300 people in 1 square kilometer and this unit unit in a unit square kilometer unit area it's 300 so we can say density of population is 300 persons per square kilometer compare the population density of the world with that of india the population density of world is around 45 on an average persons per square kilometer while if you talk about india it's over 320 it has grown now per square kilometer so the figures have changed how does climate affect the population distribution of an area people prefer to live in moderate climate that is they don't want to live in extreme cold or extreme hot so modern climate regions are densely populated that is why what is life expectancy life expect expectancy is the number of years an average person can expect to live based on the data say 65 years or 70 70 years like that what is the general trend of migrations from one country to another why is it so people migrate from less developed countries to more developed countries so this is done for better employment opportunities or other facilities or maybe their country might be facing some problem like civil war etc so they just migrate what is an what is an age sex pyramid so this is a pyramid or a figure or a graph it's actually a graph it's not a pyramid it's a graph showing the number of males and females under certain defined age groups which of these countries is more densely populated one with small population in a large area and one with large population in a large area so a country with large population in small area is more densely populated that is we have a small area and so many people are living here large people are living here this is more densely populated described how various factors affect population distribution so topography favorable climate fertility of soil the availability of fresh water and minerals these are the major geographical factors so topography uh, climate fertility water and minerals these are the geographical factors uh, major geographical factors which are affecting population density of a region so as we saw that people want to live or prefer to live in plains rather than on mountains and plateaus where they can find some moderate climates now they don't want hot or cold climate but people live there also but they are less from the agriculture point of view fertile lands are preferred most of the civilization are developed near the fertile lands of uh, rivers only areas with mineral deposits deposit, these are also mostly populated and social factors that boost the density of population in a region these are also like housing better housing education and health facilities these are good uh, factors where people would live or prefer and places with cultural and historical significance they are also usually populated like jerusalem like Banaras and employment opportunities this also is another attraction for large chunk of population because they are they'll get um, job according to their skill and they will have good money to live to have a good life describe how the population of the world has grown in a history what has caused the population explosion so the world population grew steady initially it reached a billion in 1820 
but the next two billion were added in just 150 years by 1970 the population was 3 billion in the next 29 years by the 1999 the population had doubled six double means gone up to six billion so the populous population explosion why it, the reason because of the uh, behind the population explosion is growth in medical facilities which has decreased the death rate by a large extent and the 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 second rate which we talk about is the birth rate which is ever increasing what are the factors affecting the population change in a region so factor affecting the population change in a region these are birth rate death rate and migrations birth rate death rate and migrations so birth rate what is this this is a statistic that measure the number of live or live live births per 100 people death rate is again like a, this statistic is measure of the number of death per 100 people so along with this birth and death rate the the other factor is migration where population is how we devise the population chain or analyze so migration refers to the movement of people from one area or one region to another people leaving a country is called immigrants and the people or the phenomena is called immigration and people arriving in a country is immigration or that is immigrants and the phenomena is called immigration so if this is a country those people who are living they are called those people who are living are called immigrants and those people who are coming here are called immigrants i this is e what is population pyramid what is the significance of what information can it give look at the population pyramid in this figure and answer three questions so here is a population pyramid population pyramid is on the x axis you have age range on the y axis you have percent how many people are there so you start with zero on the left hand side you have males on right hand side you have females so how many per people or percentage are there so here we have say 0 to 4 so how many are there how many males how many females so this is how we make so this is uh, the proper formation like it may come here like this so all these makes a proper shape and we call it as a pyramid now what can you say about the birth rate of the country give evidence so if you see the population pyramid first of all let me tell you about the population pyramid then we'll go to the actual uh, questions so population pyramid as you saw that it's a pictorial way to describe population composition and age sex pyramid gives information about the distribution of different age group of people based on the gender the shape of age sex pyramid of a country indicates a lot of information about the country the side towards the bottom we can estimate the birth rate the sides towards the top estimate the death rate the population pyramid in which the base is broad and the top part is narrow this means although a large number of birth takes place not all grow up to be adults and old this means they die before reaching these ages which indicates large death for example large death rate kenya shows this type of pyramid this means high population growth rate if you talk about india the death rate is decreasing so the pyramid is broad in the younger age group and size of the pyramid decreases steadily now let us come to the question what can you say that about the birth rate of the country if you see here the given population pyramid has a base narrower than some of the, its part this means the birth rate of the country is not too much this area this region is narrow so the birth rate is you can say less it's less what does the shape at the top of the pyramid indicate this is the top so if you see here that as you go to the top the shape indicates more people reach the old age that means it has lower death rate as well and pe people are living up to 85 plus or 85 years which country out of these is most likely to have this pyramid a developing country a developed country or a under underdeveloped country you see this is most likely a developed country the population growth rate seems to be controlled the young form a major part of the population so the development level must be high so these were the question and answer of this topic thank you so much take care of yourself